Okay, who's hungry? Little ones first, boy. Your great, great, great Mima? You know she's gonna turn a hundred this summer. That isn't true. She gets so old she was born before TV. No one was born before TV. Mm -hmm, before cars, before horses, maybe even before the trees themselves. You wanna ask her yourself? Really? I was aiming for it to be a surprise. You and I have never taken a trip together. So, we'll get the bus in Cordia, and we'll zip on over to Joplin, and then we'll catch a Greyhound in Minnesota from there. How long does the bus take to get to Minnesota from here? Uh, nearly 14 hours, maybe longer. Uh, uh, everything just takes longer on a bus. But it is past time that you met your utmost people. What about Dad? Do you think anything can happen in this house that he doesn't already know about? Don't I have to pack? Already done. A pack for both of us, so come on. Let's get our hurry up shoes. What about your garden? Don't you worry about it. Mother Earth has a way of taking care of her own kind, so let's get to getting. Connor, hear the reinforcements? Impartial observer. Where are you off to, Bloom? Hmm? You can't take him. That's my boy. I'm doing things my way now. Jack doesn't have to go anywhere. He doesn't already want to oh go. Oh, my God, I'm sick to death of your hippy-dippy, tree-hugging bullshit. What, you, you want to take him up to meet the rest of your fucked-up family? Yeah. No, absolutely not. He's staying here with me. You want to go, go right ahead. But I thought I got you away from that goddamn nonsense. It's obviously my first mistake. Oh, Bloom. Jack is never gonna become a man. Oh, you are some kind of man with all the separatist survival bullshit. You are nothing but a two-bit terrorist. <laughs> Did you hear her? Mm -hmm. <laughs> terrorist? Oh, I get it. I get it. This is the part where you call me a Nazi again. Yeah, in my way. Go ahead, mm -hmm. <laughs> you just keep pushing me. Keep it up, because I'm all the way done taking it. You hear me? <laughs> I was halfway to Wichita when I realized I didn't have this. That's why I turned that around. That is a lie. You planted it along with that fucking bottle. Oh, well come played. Come on, save it for Rudy Spaulding. The chief is waiting for you. I'm making a citizen's arrest. You hear me, Dad? Huh? Hey. You better stay out of this kid. Honey, don't. It's okay. Come on. Beth. Beth, you see to it that Jack is taken care of. Hey, Don't leave him alone. I'll be back soon. Fucking call. I will get a lawyer, and I'm gonna drag yeah, you your fascist ass. You do that. Who the fuck do you think they're gonna listen to? You, a fucking drunk with an arrest record in the history of mental illness, or me, a decorated former marine, huh? You come now, Jack. I'm gonna get your mom the help she needs. this goes, sweetie. This ain't the first time, nor the last. We've got to wait out the storm. Your mom's tough. It ain't no thing to her. I haven't seen her touch a bottle in God knows how long. Why don't we just find something to take your mind off things? Hmm? I'm sure it'll all work out. 
Beth, you don't understand. He was gonna hit her again. And I just stood there. You're saying we went out the storm and then things will go back to normal. But then there's just gonna be another storm and another. It's just who he is. Your dad, he's complicated. Let's just say that. Once your mom's better, you'll be a family again. You got a plan as to how you're going to explain this to young Jack, I presume. There was a, a struggle in the car. She pulled away from me and the door was open. The next thing I knew, she was going end over end in the street. The damn woman jumped. That's the story. Yep. It didn't have to go this way. But what's right is right. It's too late to sing that song, ain't it? Any word? Not yet. I think I'll just stay here till your dad gets back. Okay. I just hope Mom's okay. dream. It's okay. It's okay. Go back to sleep, all right? Garnivers. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what? It's completely legal to keep her on my land. Another thing I love about Kansas. Save the planet. Fertilize it. What do you got there? Seeds. I think Mom wanted to take them to Mima. Oh, yeah? Let's see. I want to find them. Give her something nice to come home to. Oh, you are a darling. It's a new day. I always loved working in the soil. Something your mom and I shared. The fact that you can plant anything, a seed, an idea. Heck, you can even plant evidence to throw someone off the track. Hey. Jack? Fat. Huh? 
Everything okay? Look, it's, it's really unfortunate that you had to see that yesterday, but you need to understand it. It's probably for the best. Is she coming back? No. No, not anytime soon. Jack, do you understand why your mother wanted to leave? She wanted to go someplace that she could drink and take her pills. And you need to understand, look at me. You need to understand that she would have eventually chosen those things over you. Yes, yes, you need to understand that, Jack. You, at the police station, she, she had a complete breakdown. I mean, it was, it was heartbreaking. It, I mean, it, it was heartbreaking. But, you know, thank the Lord Jesus, she's in the halfway house right now. She's getting the help that she needs. So all that we can do is wait and, and, and see what happens, okay? But you've got to stand tall. Stand tall. There you go. Good. Be strong. Water them, not bleed all over them. How long until you think they'll sprout? I don't know. Let us consider. Do you care it? Oh, how long? I guess we'd better get a move on then. <laughs> now you're just beating around the bush. All right, so. Easiest way to get in and get a pass, you come in on first and you park on A1. You leave your keys in it and you walk. ATF is on top floor. Yeah, and there's also an IRS office on four, same building. It's small, but you know, it's like a little extra something special, like a cherry on top of a sundae. Tasty. Oh, man. Can you imagine this, Hank? It's gonna be just pieces falling three states away. It's gonna be raining chunks, man. Chunks. There'll be chunks of them in orbit. <laughs> <sighs> Has Jack read the book yet? He will. It's important. I know Thank it is. You. I shit you not, he will. Look, what, what we're doing, this, this isn't new. Sessionism is not new. Confederacy ain't new. No. We're in the vanguard, man. I'm an American. Damn straight. Remind me of you. Jack is never going to become a man. Who the fuck do you think they're going to listen to? You or me? You better stay out of this kid. She told me that. No. Sorry, Mom. I miss you. She doesn't just love you. 
She loves me too, more than I ever deserved. No, that isn't true. It is. I was afraid she couldn't be out there on her own. Not with all that rotten stuff banging around inside her head. Don't be sad, Beth. She'll be back soon. Besides, you helped with the flowers. You're showing her just how much you love her, just by planting them with me. Nothing says I love you better than flowers. chores to do. The pigs need their dinner. Don't wait up for me. I don't know how late I'll be back. Yes, sir. I wish it was happening tomorrow. The ATF assembly meeting is in October. It's plenty soon enough. Yeah, if we still have till October. She hadn't told anybody. She didn't tell anyone, Connor. You can't be sure about that. But I am. I am sure, because Beth got everything that she knew out of her when she called and told me she was taking Jack away. Damn good on you, Beth. Now, Bloom knew. She knew exactly what would happen if we ever got raided by the feds. She knew that would be like putting a gun against her head. Because I told her, I told her myself that I would put her in the ground if the law ever came on my land. No, she was crazy, Connor, but she wasn't fucking stupid. All right. <clears throat> tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thank the good maker for women like you, Beth. Beth, take good care of my boy, all right? I know you will. I need something Jack, stupid. You're bleeding. We ought to do something about that. Arm. No, 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 Beth. I need your help. Please come quick. Okay, Please. okay. Of course I will. Jack, I don't see anything. What are you playing? Oh. 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 What 
the crap is all this horse pocky? Hey, Jack! Jack, you in there? You asleep? But you run away, you little shaved tail. Jack! I'm right here. Oh. Was you running a spook house in here tonight or something, Jack? Dad. What happened? I, I did something bad. I did something really, really bad. What did you do? I need help. I need your help, Dad. God damn it all to hell. What? You have to come see. I didn't mean to find it. What? In the bushes. I, I didn't mean it. OK, Jack. Jack, listen to me. Whatever it is that you think you saw out here, it's not. I can explain, OK? Oh, my god. Beth. Hey. Hey. Yeah, Dad says get over here, double quick. About a bag of manure, and I don't know what. He said you know, and hurry, okay? Mom said Mima's going to turn 100 this summer. I'm glad I'm going to finally meet her. Never met someone older than TV. All right, get in line. You haven't even seen her live. I am her number one fan. <laughs> I would have seen her live if you would have gotten me an extra ticket. Mm, that sounds like something Regina's number two fan would say. Whatever. You were sitting in the nosebleeds anyway. Uh, um, uh, you just don't get it, all right? Seeing her in concert, it changes you. Like, recordings don't even do her justice. Hearing her live, it's like on a whole other level. That booty's on a whole nother level. God damn. Those curves are like inhuman. You know she's like nine months pregnant, right? Yeah. I'd still hit that. Oh my gosh, gross. Can you try to blow that out the window? What if my mom smells it? Isn't she at work? Deborah? Why didn't you tell us your mom was on? Her shit got canceled last minute. It's not my fault that Regina went into labor. What? what? Hey, hun. Smells like you guys might be hungry. Want me to make some dinner? Um, uh, no, that's okay. We're, we're good. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed soon. Oh, uh, we can have leftovers. Oh, yeah. Come on, no one likes a cold meal. Mom! Well, 
Here's my wallet if you want to order some pizzas. Okay, what did you say about Regina? Nothing. No, you said she was having her baby tonight. My mom will kill me if anybody else oh, finds come out. On. Tell us everything. Or I'll post a rumor and I'll tag your okay, mom too. Okay, fine. All right. My mom had to go home because Regina's like shutting down the entire fourth floor of the hospital. She's bringing in her own doctors and stuff. <laughs> Wait, why would she do all that? Privacy, duh. Everyone on planet Earth wants to see Regina's baby. <laughs> Wait, can you imagine how much money we could give for a picture of that kid? Well, if she wants to take a picture, she'll do it herself. We should respect her privacy. Oh, please. She's a superstar. That basically makes her public property, like a national park or a Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> no, Deborah's right. This is a beautiful moment between a mother and her child. It should be private, just Regina and her staff and her three biggest yes. fans. Are you insane? <laughs> Debs, we should be there to share this moment. Come on, I thought you were Regina's number, number one, one fan. Oh. Hey, don't ever question my loyalty to Team Regina. <laughs> All right, but how are we gonna get in? Backstage pass. Yes! <laughs> and we can split the money from the pictures three ways. No, no pictures. pictures! See, fine. Debra's mom is totally fine with you spending the night. Well, are you gonna be good? Yeah, don't worry. We'll be fine. Yeah, that's what you always say. I gotta go, Mom. You gotta be good. Yeah. Love you, sweetie. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. God, it's like she doesn't even trust me. Did you mention you were breaking into a hospital? Okay, we're not breaking in. We have a key. <laughs> oh my God, I will totally bug out if I get to meet Regina. Oh, I wonder who father is. Do you think that he'll be there? Oh my God, if we get a photo of him, we'd make so much more money. We said no pictures, remember? No, Deborah said no pictures of the baby, but the daddy's fair game. You know what, I bet there isn't even a father. I bet Regina is like the Virgin Mary or something, like totally divine. Hell yeah. She's just like us. She don't need no man. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> OK, there's a difference between don't need and can't get. Breaking news. This Sorry, one's shut up. Hey, listen, Regina. Listen. Rumors are buzzing online that Regina is about to go into labor and has been rushed to an undisclosed location. That's right. The queen is about to give birth, if only we knew where. Well, we know. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're coming, Regina. <laughs> Wishing her the best, here is Regina's latest hit, Hungry for You. <laughs> How are we supposed to get past that camera? Trinis, do you have your selfie stick? Shing, duh. Cool. Sounds like a certain fan is getting bumped to number two.
Oh, shit. Is he dead? I'm not waiting to find out. Come on, Deborah, let's go. Hey guys, do you hear that? Hear what? You dork, you still have your earbuds in. Duh. <laughs> Probably just like an electrical hum or something. Then why are all the lights turned off? Maybe they're going green. <gasps> Elevator! Underneath, we got a bail. Deborah. Something's wrong with these people. Maybe Deborah was right. We shouldn't be here. I can't even find Deborah. What do you mean you can't? I can't. Guys, over here, I found her. Check this out. Creepy. Okay. I'm ready to leave now. Look! There she is! That doesn't look like it's helping. What's wrong with their eyes? Maybe she didn't see us. 
saw it. It was her. What the, what the hell? Come on, guys, we gotta run. Guys.
Pause. We're clear. We can use this picture to expose Regina for the monster she is. And destroy her career? What the hell are you doing? Let's get the hell no. out of here. I bought tickets to her next tour. Are you crazy? We have to tell the police. She hasn't even finished her new album. Didn't you see what that thing did? It killed Carlos. She was protecting her privacy. She's a monster. She's Regina. I thought you were a number one fan. I guess this just proves that you're number two. about this, Trinice. Really, I do, but I just have to protect Regina's image. She promised me backstage passes for life. You'd understand if you'd seen her live. It changes you. Do you want to meet her baby? No! Regina says I get to be their nanny after school. Aren't they just the cutest? I just have to remember to feed them on time. They've already had their feeding, but there's just so many of them. Oh, and I told Regina that we could start with you. It's like my mom always says, no one likes a cold meal. No, 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 no! 